Hello, uh, my name is uh, Irina, Irina Yilmaz, and uh, more than one year ago we arrived to the UK in the lovely area of uh, Forest of Dean. I was born and grown in Ukraine. Uh, it's the uh, western part of Ukraine, so we are all, all my family, friends, we are Ukrainian speaking. I have a quite big family <laughs> in Ukraine, so almost everybody is there, so they are still staying, uh, staying there. The father of my grandmom, he fight in his way to keep Ukrainian language. He wrote uh, some articles in Ukrainian to support the idea of being Ukrainian, you know. It was the Stalin time, the USSR, and um, at that time it was um, not allowed in Ukraine, you know, because uh, of the language. So they tried to to make people speak Russian, to make people have common tradition in, in all USSR. So uh, my grandmom and her mom and uh, her brother, they uh, were sent to Siberia. Her father, he went to the prison. So they are staying there in the forest and they make uh, her mom work and children just <laughs> st staying there. They took her um, to Siberia when she was six years old and she came back to her place about when she was 25, 27. So why I start talking about that? Uh, because it's important for me. When I was a child, my grandmom, she tried to talk and explain to us what she passed through and why. But for us at that time, it was so difficult and strange to understand because we were able to, to speak our language. It, it was free, <laughs> you know. It was like, not, it's not possible, you know. She explaining us how they traveling to Siberia with the train. After now, when the wars had been started, I can feel that and understand how it possible, you know, when that happens in your country. So I was born in a quite small village. <laughs> so, so yes, I understand uh, uh, some kind of, uh, if I can say it's rural life, yes, to, to live near the nature. My grandparents, they have uh, uh, some kind like small farms, so we know how cows <laughs> looks like. <laughs> when I was uh, about three years old, we moved to a small city. I went to school there, so after... After that time, we have uh, lived in, in, the, in the city. After school, I went to the college. I studied economy, so I have an economy degree. After I finished college, I went to work in the retail. And about 10 years, I've been working there as the manager of the store. I love this because every day you <laughs> meeting a new people. And you can uh, discover the way of they act, <laughs> their manners, uh, because it's make you um, be more open. I think it's one of the most uh, uh, things that I like about about my work. It's to be able to to be every time in, in touch with with people, absolutely different people. You know, it's yeah. The village it's uh, situated next to the city Ternopil. It's um, next, next to the Lviv, so Lviv it's quite known city, it's big, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, I can say it's the capital of the western Ukraine. It's amazing city and amazing place with very different uh, kind of people because there is mixing of nationalities. Before the war it was very active touristic place. I love my country, I love my family, I know who we are, but at the same time, uh, I'm not uh, against to people who are different. I, lo I love people who are different, you know, <laughs> except if they're trying to hit me or catch me or, or do anything like this, because it's, it's interesting. We should not be all the same, you know. It's the reason of the world and humanity, because we are all different. And at the same time, we are the same because we are just the humans, you know. <laughs>
Uh, when the war uh, has been started, we was in Ukraine, my daughter and me and my family. I remember that time at the beginning that you don't know what what happening. You don't know what will be in the minute, in the hour <laughs> tomorrow. So um, personally, for me, it's uh, after one month or two, I'm start thinking that uh, okay, um, I'm I'm I have a daughter. I was working. She went to the kindergarten, and it's the um, air alert. You know, they went to shelter. And you have to leave your work. You have to run to the kindergarten to to pick up her from there. So it's very stressful for because we still don't know how children who are staying still there, what effect it will have to them after after five years, after ten ten years. So uh, as for for me, as for a parent, I decide to leave my country just to give at that moment better and peaceful life and being. Uh, so me and my friend, we apply for the um, Poems for Ukraine and um, we are very lucky to, to meet these people. It's Frank and Martha. They are amazing. They help to us from, <laughs> from the beginning, each moment, if each um, things that we struggle or we have problem <laughs> or we don't know. It's very unusual have uh, people if they don't know you they never see you they open the door of their homes <laughs> and they <laughs> invite you here so the challenges um well the challenge is that you came and you uh, you don't know anything so yes you have to learn <laughs> how the system works banking uh, schooling and um the language, of course. I have some language, so I, I can talk, but I know uh, people who came with zero English, so I can imagine how it was difficult for them. Yes, yes, my uh, friend were back to Ukraine. I miss her. I miss her uh, because one year we living together in, in the same home. I miss her, but at the same time, I'm... Uh, I'm happy because her husband, uh, he is a soldier and he, he is fighting at the war at the beginning. You know, it's, it's about family. So it was very difficult for them. Even uh, in Ukraine, they are not together, but uh, they are able to see each other. You know, sometimes I saw these feelings and emotions and what she's passing through. Um, because for me, I have uh, relatives in in the world who, who who is fighting, but this is her husband. You know, it's <laughs> it's 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 your family, and every single day you are waiting uh, for the call in the morning or message like uh, like I'm okay, I'm alive. <laughs> so. Yes, sometimes it's it was more calm. Sometimes it's very difficult because uh, she can five days a week not be able to receive anything from him, and it's uh, it's yeah. And at the same time, you don't know how to support this person because what you will say to her all will be good or <laughs> keep going like yes. Yeah, so. I wanted to say um, about the hub. Karen organized us as a big community of Ukrainians here. And every week in Sunday, we came here. Uh, we uh, meet each other. We can talk. We can support it, with each other. If we um, someone have troubles or struggle with something, we can say, ah, "I had this uh, before." So you can talk with these people or go there or try to do there. So it was much more easier to settle down here uh, at that moment that you were alone. Maybe 85 or 80 percent of people who uh, arrived to to this area, to Forest of Din, they are staying here. They are trying to rent the homes or <laughs> but, uh, or next to the school, you know, because they don't want to uh, move kids, children out. So I 
almost all my all my friends, people who are met uh, here, they are stay, staying some, <laughs> somewhere close close in this area. So, yeah. The longer I'm staying here, the more I start to appreciate the nature. Uh, sometimes, you know, when I'm driving from the place where I'm working at the Severn and Wise Smokeries, and I literally, I want to stop the car and just looking around the, the sky, the hills, <laughs> the, the architecture, the building. It feels, it's, it feels very special for me, really. I I'm, I'm enjoy every single <laughs> thing, thing that I see. So uh, one uh, of the good things that I um, take for myself is the way you care and protect about nature and things around it's the one of skill <laughs> that i will take with me anywhere <laughs> if i will back to ukraine or anywhere else so i will i will take it with me uh my daughter so um uh, when we came here she was five years old so she start her school and it was year one so it's she start from, from the beginning so the year before, when I look at her at this Christmas performance, she was very shy. She she was trying to sing a songs and she don't know how to how to how to sing. So it she was like freeze, you know, at this stage. And this year she's singing, she's dancing, she's smiling <laughs> at this stage. So I'm trying to explain how more confident she became it's because of. Uh, her English now much more good. She she can she can talk about everything she needs. I think, and uh, yes, yeah, so it's it's very big difference. And she she liked the school. She had she had already friends, so uh, yeah. For me, I'm I'm just trying to to do something for myself to be able to to work to be able to be normal human just to work to pay taxes to, <laughs> to live your life like because um, um, even if we are staying here half year of or for one year or more we don't know but it's important to keep going you know not just to sitting to waiting just to keep going in and in those things I'm very happy being here and if uh, someone will ask me if you can go past in your <laughs> in your past and change something change the 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 place or or circumstances I would say no I would say no it's it's amazing yeah